and welcome to your online classes so today video is about tenses from your grammar book so in this video we will discuss all the tenses one by one and this is the uh, your syllabus will start final one also so this 13 chapter start as a final exam because your half field exam is over so from final exam start from the tenses so in this video we will see the tenses three tenses present past tense future so one by one we'll discuss it in all detail so let's start our video so this is your chapter tenses and from here we start our final exam also so tenses is the form of a verb which show the time of action basically there are three main tenses present tense past tense and future tense the tense of a verb tell us about the action that is whether the action is being carried out was carried out or will be carried out so first of all we see present tense so when a uh, verb show an action which is being done in the present time the verb is said to be in present tense past tense when a verb shows an action that was done in past time the verb is said to be in past tense future tense when a verb show action which will be done in future time the verb is said to be in future tense you can see the example the stars are shining so this is our present tense because our auxiliary verb and helping verb is are and the main verb is shine the star was shining so what is a past tense form so it is a past tense the stars will be shining so will be is a future tense helping verb so present tense tell to us which work we are doing and past time which one is over and future will be come so present like i'm teaching you right now this is our present and past we have you done your exam yesterday so this is your time is over yesterday okay so you have done your exam in to yesterday so yesterday is your past tense future tense means you will be go in your next topic your next anything you can do so we will do that future future we sometimes we don't know also the future what will be happen the next moment but something which will do in the future like will be shall be these are the form of the future tense so this is the simple present tense look at this following sentences like uh, i read i go to school by bus in this sub sentence the verbs read and go so uh, action then in the present time and thus this are said to be in simple present tense so how is simple present tense format so today first of all see tenses present tense simple present tense format so first a is will tell to us with first person you know very well who is the first person second person so with first person i we second person you and with third person plural subject they and all over plural subjects we use the first form of the verb i hope you understand what i'm telling you okay so first i read we pray you take they walk boys jump with third person singular subject he she it and all other singular subject we add only s to the first form of the verb like she she is a pronoun and she is a singular form so we use in the main verb reads we add the s and when we are talking about the plural one then we not add the s okay he prayer it's move mona jumps so structure of a sentence first form of verb will be used as a main verb in the sentence affirmative sentence subject plus main verb plus 
object so this is the structure of sentence subject plus first form of the verb plus object you can see the example here you see the example three examples are there she goes to school daily he likes music she writes me a letter and the negative sentence the format is subject plus auxiliary verb main and not plus main verb plus object subject plus do not does not first form of verb then object we can see here he does not like exercising she does not drive her car they do not need any help so whenever be he she uh, we use it then he and she we make a negative sentence then we use does not or uh, plural form we use do not okay now interrogative sentence auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb plus object like does do subject plus form first form of the verb then object you can see do you need our some help so when we make an interrogative sentence then we put a do and does first like this now when we are talking about simple present tense use it the simple present tense is used to express a habitual action like we go to school every day so this is your habitual work okay daily you are doing this to express general truth like water boils at 100 degrees celsius in the explanative sentence begin with here and there is uh, express an action actually taking place in present example here comes the train we talk about a future event that is a part of a fixed timetable like the post office open 9 am so simple present tense uses i hope you understand it is a factor okay habitual work is telling to us okay present continue tense when we are talking continue tense so continue means we are doing work continuously okay like this the present continue tense is used to express an action that is actually taking place present time like a structure of sentence that main verb plus the first form of verb plus ing like eating playing etc auxiliary verbs like is am or are like affirmative sentence subject plus auxiliary verb plus main verb auxiliary verb your helping verb okay like uh, is am or first form of verb like eat then we add the ing it's make a eating so eating playing dancing bathing jumping these are the ing form of present continue tense so example we can see here mr sina is reading the newspaper so this tense is present continue tense because we add the uh, ing in main verb read okay so mr sina is continuously doing this work he not stop he is sleeping kids are playing cricket so these three example of present continue tense now we see how to make negative sentence in present continue tense so we can see here first we add subject then auxiliary verb like is mr not plus main verb subject plus is mr not first form of the verb ing he is not sleeping they are not waiting for you she is not asking any question so this type of format you learn it and make the sentence in interrogative sentence auxiliary verb plus subject then main verb you can see the example are you listening to me is he calling you are they running on the road note in interrogative sentence put not after the subject for example are you not listening to me is he not calling you are they not running on the road i hope you understood this if you have any doubt you can ask me otherwise i don't think so you need to ask me because this is not new for you tenses but still if you have any doubt about singular plural uh, simple tenses then you can ask me okay so next is your present continuous tense uses so how to use this present continuous tense is used to express okay like uh, an action that is going on at the time of speaking i am reading mamta is cooking the food 
an action which is progress but not be going on at the time of speaking like uh, we are doing physical exercise nowadays i am going to learn music this days an action that is begin thought of for example i am preparing for ias examination this year richa is going to london next month so now we see the present perfect tense the present perfect tense is used to express an action that has been completed at the present moment like i have read the teachers have gone home in this tense present perfect tense we are using has or have and the main verb third form structure of the sentence you can see here you see this one subject plus has have third form of verb then object i have eaten my meal he has received my letter he has bought a camera negative sentences subject plus auxiliary verb not main verb then object example you have not completed your work they have not enjoyed the party you can see here have or has has and have we seen there after that we use the not in negative sentence then main verb third form interrogative also you can see here you make like this okay now we are talking about the present perfect tense so the present perfect tense is used to express an action that has been completed in the immediately past for example we have spent a lot you have done your work uh, we just recently lately year by now and today for that one they like um, has he not yet finished his work my father has come from mumbai just now okay with the time for example my friend has not seen me for three days so i hope this present perfect tense also clear to you as the tense to use to express action that has been completed immediately in past okay so this is your wrap up and this is your exercise so please do your exercise next video we will discuss about the simple past tense so i hope this tense is clear present all the tenses still if you have doubt you can ask me and you fill this exercise okay so till then take care